Welcome back, you beautiful people, and welcome to my van build series. I'm going to be showing you snippets of my whole journey, the ups, the downs, the funny bits, and not to forget all my mistakes as well. I've literally messed up. Blood, sweat, and tears is going to make this the ultimate mountain biker's van. This is my most ambitious project I've ever done. At a young age, I've always been into camping, overlanding, and mountain biking. Now, it's all about taking my family on adventure and just being in the grey outdoors. This, my friends, is Blake Bill's van life, powered by Works Tools. Welcome back, you beautiful people, and welcome to the final episode of Blake Bill's van life. The van is nearly there. It's actually been a while. Um, it's actually taken a sidestep, to be honest. Uh, I've been traveling all over the world. Martin has been very busy, but he has finished the roof rack. You can see this wire's hanging out. We'll get to that in this episode. But he's been an absolute wealth of knowledge, Martin has been, at Bare Metal Builds on Instagram. Go give him a follow because he does some incredible stuff. I couldn't have done it without him. Anyway, this episode, like I said, is the final one. There's so much going on in this episode. It's gonna be a whopper. And I actually don't like the, uh, the color of the van. It's all coming up in this episode. Oh, stick around, right. I'm over here in the garage if you wanna come. See ya. Look at this. Oh, 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 oh. Solar panel, 330 watt vent. It activates with the, the rain. As soon as it starts raining, it closes itself. We've got decking planks up here. The awning is in. Martin doesn't think I'm gonna store a surfboard up here, but I am gonna put a surfboard. But he had to buy this thing so he could get it on and off by himself because he is a one-man band and he just does everything on his own, which is pretty incredible anyway. Right, let's go back down and uh, actually help with wiring. Okay, so it's like an absolute snake's wedding behind here. I've connected up my mission control so that is all connected, all in the back here. It looks nuts. Look at this. Organized chaos, I say. Holy moly bummels. I will tidy it up. I will make it look snazzy. Now I just got to go down there into the workshop and connect it to the fuse board to bring power all up here. That is next. Oh, but actually I'm going to carpet this other panel. Then this top section's like finished. Blake was just asking me what cables we're using and um, we've got 17 amp cable and we've got 13 amp cable so we're making sure that all the main circuits, lighting circuits are running on at least 13 amp and anything else to do with the split charge relay um, and earths for the switches and the main earths for the back of the van are all 17 amps so we're 100% covered by the thickness of the cable. You can see how thick that is, look at that. Ooh. Nothing in the back is going to be any more than probably 8 or 9 amps but when everything's turned on together it might go to 12 or 13. Everything will be fused anyway, so there's a little fuse board you can't see but there is a little fuse board in there. So my job is to put this battery computer so we know what the voltage and everything is going on in the batteries as well as this guy, not, the, not this guy, this guy. It's, it's a kill switch for the battery and what we're going to do, well Mr Jones has suggested that we cut off the earth to the van. Makes sense to me, so we're going to do that and that's going to go in the panel as well. So these three items in there. So it's not particularly exciting this side, but I'll show you anyway. So you've got a split charge relay, which goes through a fuse that comes from the battery into the relay, out the relay to the main battery. This is a live feed then to the inverter. And you've got the earth coming down to the battery. So we're keeping the earth of the battery away from the body. We're gonna earth it at the back for a switch. And you've got the ring main for the actual um, hookup for the outside. That goes to the plugs that are there. 
and you've got this will be an earth so all the earths will come out the same bus bar other than the connectors that's for the lives that's for the fuses for all the switches so there you go Ready to go. Ready to go. We've cut the earth from the van, so when I tw twist this and turn it off, it kills the van. There you go. And I can take it out, and now the van is completely safe. It's locked down. Put that back in, turn it back on. It's all coming along very nicely, but come in the garage because that is the best bit. Like I said, been very busy. We've painted the roof rack and I've painted the ladder on the rear, which is looking incredible. A bit dark in here. No, it's not. Check this out. Oh, and work lights. So when I'm packing the van up on a dark winter's day, I can turn them on. Oh wait. I can turn them on. <laughs> Look at that, amazing. And this is in. Yeah, not much power in the battery, but solar panel will charge that very soon. Um, so I've also hardwired in a works charging battery charger. That actually works. And that should come on. There we go. I've wired it up, all of it's in, it's flashing blue. There we go, flashing blue. Now to connect to the app, which I've done, I've worked it out. I've changed my, my password to it. It's saying I've got 12.4 volts in this battery right here, but I am gonna connect the two up. When it flashes green, it means it's floating. So I can flick a switch and I can start trickle charging that one on the other side of the van, which is pretty clever. It, wiring is a bit messy at the moment, but I am gonna tidy it up when I'm finished doing all the wires. Now, the next bit is this bit. Start connecting every single one of my accessories to a fuse, so every single accessory like light, USB, every single USB will have a different fuse. But that is the next job. As you can see, that side is boarded up. I'm finished with that side. I'm working on this side, and we're nearly there. I am so happy with how the electrics has turned out. I've, I've never done it before, but Mr. Jones, Martin, Bare Metal Builds, 100% give him a follow, please, because he's been an absolute trooper, giving me the insights and know-how on how to wire up a van, because I would have not known. I would have watched so many YouTube videos, and I probably wouldn't have got this far anyway. But, look, reading lights, kitchen lights, and then this one, is a double pole, which means I can turn it off over there. So bedroom one is the top one. Actually no, Be bedroom one is the bottom one. That's incredible. It's time to start insulating in here and putting the ceiling in. So I've got some Kingspan, which is this, I think it's 25 mil or 35 mil. Anyway, it's this thick and it's gonna fit inside these squares. So I'm gonna cut them, put them in there, Put them all in here and it's all going to be insulated from the garage because i didn't insulate the garage because you don't need to and it'll be a waste anyway i am so happy with this look at that lights out all the wiring is complete now as you can see i've got paper everywhere strapped in here i've primed all the steel i've covered up all the little holes that need to be covered i'm ready to raptor spray the whole of this garage whole inside of the garage is going to change color it's going to look incredible it's going to be watertight and then i can wait overnight and i'm going to put in my drawer sliders i fucking cannot wait i that is one massive step for blake one massive step for Blake, one massive step for man. Right, enough chip chat. Well, yeah, because we're playing outside in the rain, basically, because <laughs> that's professional, isn't it? 
very professional van life is always outside. You ready? Can I just go for it? Yeah, paint, paint the van. Should I wear a mask? Should I wear a mask? I think I should wear a mask. <laughs> smells funny. early got my porridge um it is the next day it's like quite a sporadic episode this one because it is the last one and there's a lot going on anyway got my porridge come with me right now it's time to install one of these drawers you don't know how excited i am right now because this is basically like the cherry on the top inside the garage oh my gosh i'm tired but let's let's get the kids here it is. Let's see. The ply, guys. You're so kind. Oh, I know what these are. The little cubby holes, which they went way beyond my expectations. I, I sent them drawings and these, oh, look at that. These will just fit in the back. So this is for the big draw. Oh, excited. Excited! Excited! Right, need to install my, my plugs, my sockets. Need to put these in. When the van was completely empty. I remember that. Switches, garage, number three, USB. I remember you spelled USB wrong. Oh, yeah, I spelled that wrong, didn't I? Oh my gosh, it's because I'm diabetic. <laughs> Dyslexic. Yeah, you get, you get it. <laughs> That's Hyper why. Hyperaction. Scary. That's that's pretty strong. That's a pretty strong draw. I don't want to stand over there. I'm scared. But that's pretty strong. Wow. I'm gonna screw in one here because it looks like it's bowing out there. It just feels a bit tight. The drawer's really hard to get in and out. It slides really bad. And where I've screwed it, it's trying to push it down, but because it's got these ridges here, to make it obviously a lot stronger so it doesn't just bend down, that's why they do that. It goes on there and then pushes away, so it pushes it away like a little ramp. So I'm gonna put some spaces under there, then that should sit quite flush. I was thinking, why is it not closing properly? I was really in, then I was like, hang on a minute. It's actually bent, so there you go. Can I have another coffee? Oat latte, please. Buy a Dunkin' Mania. Oh, hey, Nick, thanks very much, dude. Was that hot? <laughs> your, your face is like, ah. Oh, merci beaucoup, monsieur. No, they're definitely all mine. No. There you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my flipping goodness. That was, that was ridiculously easy. I should build vans for a living. No, I don't want to build vans for a living. Actually, it's my first ever van I've ever built. It was hard. I feel like the second one will be easy. Third one will be like, oh, dude, I'm going to build 10 after this. But no, watch this. Okay. 
Oh wait, we need some tools. <laughs> I think I've said this before, but I designed it so we could put tools in here. So you can get this toolbox foam and you can actually cut out little inserts for each individual tool. So they're gonna be there. Here is where the bikes are gonna go. So you can actually use this as a work stand. When the bikes are off, you can put bits in here. Now this wasn't my idea. This was Hamish's idea at the ply guys. He said, dude, you've got wasted space there. Why not put cubbies in there? So he's put two in for me. He went beyond. Thank you very much. Like I said, at the ply guys on Instagram. Slide it in, slide it out, slide it in, slide it out until I go to bed. Because it's amazing. Right, garage is complete. This is kind of the next two days after the garage was done because I've been in here. Stressing, this is probably the stressiest I've been in the build. Actually, work is the, I'm the tiredest. Anyway, it's tongue and groove. It looks incredible when it's up, but holy moly, I am putting glue in the groove and then sliding it in. So, because this is probably gonna be quite creaky if you don't do it and set it properly. So I'm gluing it onto the ceiling and I'm gluing it into the groove and the tongue and groove, but it's, it looks really good. And then when you put it in there, you slide it up onto that tongue. But this is the stressful bit. Oh. Watch this. <laughs> Watch me get very cross. Watch me get very cross. Bro, you threw one yesterday. So last night I was here till quite late. Saying late, there's, there's it there. I, and I launched it there, through there, and I never said the F word so loud in my life. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. This is a anti-creak noise, I hope. Oh, I've got some more jeans. I'm tired. Just forget about me, I'm crying. I got more, more on my crutch, oh, more. <sighs> it's actually quite emotional, this bit. I'm super tired and the ceiling's going in. It's supposed to be like good times, you know, but it's yeah, quite emotional. Quite emotional right now. Oh, I'd love a cup of tea, Nick, yes. Nick's just asked me for a, a hot beverage and I, cup of tea, Nick. Thank you. I'll be done here. Oi, thanks, Nick. Oh, it's a good cup of tea. Thank you. I got to do the back bits, put two more lights in, sort out this, and then the ceiling's done. I'm excited. Now I can put the lights on and see. That, to be honest, stressed me out quite a lot because I thought it would be quite straightforward, but it's not. But it looks beautiful. Very or aeronautical. Aeron aeronautical. What am I saying? What am I saying? Let me repeat that. Hang on. Very nautical. There, there you go. It's very nautical. Though. Thanks, Nick. What Nick said looks like a Swedish sauna. Kinda, yeah. I like it. Oh, it's finished. <laughs> ah! That's my favourite machine. But it works, though. Watch my ceiling, don't dent it. Watch my wires, please. Watch my RGB. Watch that one there. Ah! Right, moment of truth. Let's see if the van burns down because we put more wood in it. Watch this. <laughs> wow! Actually looks quite good. I did just now off camera, I was like, Mars, I like, go get the computer, just go and connect and turn the lights on. 
had they turned on and I went, oh yeah, that's really cool. Because that was so stressful to do. Four hours to do those bits there and this. Two hours to do and then bit. with two people, two it's people. half the job. It's, it's like three people, I've got to be honest. But we did this, look how nice this is. Yeah, that, that, this, yeah, to be honest, one cut wonder over here, Mr. Jones. Yeah. It would have taken me thousands yeah, and I would have thrown no, everything. It's nice and neat, I like it. To be honest, yeah, because in a couple of days, we are going to do something with the outside of the van because everything in here is pretty much there. Doesn't look like it, but it is. But it is. Anyway, to go to bed. <laughs> now I'm going to go shoot the dirt shed show and I'm going to come back on Thursday because I'm, I'm away. I've actually cleared up and Nick's actually I'm swept up. There you are. Yes, welcome back to this week's show. Join with myself, Blake Sampson. We've got Chris Smith from yep. EMBN and we've got someone on the sofa. Watcha, how you doing? There he is. Yes, I had to shoot off to go and film the weekly show that we do every Friday. So this Friday, Friday the 21st, I'm gonna be announcing all the giveaways, the 10 runner-ups to the Hydro Shot and the big prize winner of all of those tools that I mentioned in the previous episode. It's all coming up in tomorrow's show, so stick around and watch it because it could be you. You've got a lot more energy today, mate. We've got a lot more energy today. Yeah, me today, but it's only because I'm doing stuff and he's not. No, because it's, I get so overwhelmed with how much stuff I've got well, to do. just get on with it. I am, but I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's ticking, you know? Everyone loves a bit of freehand work, worktop fitment, don't they? <laughs> I'd absolutely love it. Right, what's happened now? How much should I take off? How many have you got now? 30. I moved it like four mil. How can it be 30? I've moved it four mil now. You can't, don't say 29. 28. Your measuring tape don't work, does it? 28. Mm. Yeah, yeah, make sure that goes in. Yours is, yours is different. Mine, okay, from there, yeah. Mine definitely says 24 there, look. Yours says... 23. <laughs> mine says... Okay. We should use one tape we'll measure. We'll use one tape measure, because that's definitely different. Don't use this when doing that, right? I'll do this over that's, here. Yeah, you do that over there. <laughs> yeah, cool. Um, do you... Can you, do you take card? I'll pop down, I'm only up the road. All right, see ya, bye. Yes. Got tap, she, he, she, he said, it went from a she to a he. He said they're re like really small. Yeah. So I think that's perfect, really small for them. As long as it hasn't got a switch on it. Did someone forget to order a tap? I forgot to order a tap. I literally, you know, no, I put my hands up. I literally thought I could go to local DIY store and buy a tap. Anyway. Don't worry. I'll, bye, Blake. I'll go get one. Yeah. Okay. The colour of this tap, right, is definitely OMP or retired. Good to get out though. Yeah. Cup of tea, Nick, when we get in. Is that right? Cup of tea? Cup of tea. Cup of tea. Look at this! This is it. Bit of bit of move bit of bit of bit of bit of bit of bit of movement there. Bit of movement. Well, it's not but actually it's, mounted yet. It's not mounted, but it's in. And that Cooking my eggs, yeah. cooking my bacon. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't look like you're cooking bacon. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. I'm just gonna go in there. Oh, that looks good actually. It's really small, it's tucked away. I like it. And get some tiles on there. All the best things come in small packages, eh? But yeah, that's it, Mark. Definitely a big hole there, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I'm going all hot and sweaty. It's a mistake that Blake looks happy about. No, no. We can fill it. I know we can fill it. It'll be fine. The only reason Blake's happy about it is because I made the mistake, it. and I've now got to make the whole worktop again. Really? Well, that's a that's a big hole, Blake. That is a big hole. But we can fill it, and then I look at it and go, I remember that day. 
That day was Look at it, look at it. Let's get number seven, hang on. <laughs> Nick, the cameraman's gonna get sacked in a minute. Get, get a number seven. Why, why can't I just turn it on like that? Uh, go for it. Try it. Try it. What's gonna happen? I have no idea. <laughs> you probably should film it. Try it. Because it could spin and smash me in the face. Well, probably not, no, it won't. What? Get ready to turn it off. You don't want to test it. Well, no, it is. On what? On what? Oh, I don't want to do so it. It's so scary, this machine. Oh, I don't want to do it. This could be really dangerous. I could end up bleeding here. Yeah. Well, try it. If it spins on the top, I'm because I can't switch it well, off. It's so deep. Look. What? Oh, I don't want to do it. Do it. <laughs> yeah, close, isn't it? Imagine that snagging now. I can't do it. <laughs> my finger won't even push the button. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, that yeah. hole's big. I'm hearing Nick doing some noises. Nick, oh, he's ripping my van going apart. Going back to episode one, man. Just breaking you're, stuff off. you're ripping my van apart, Nick. <laughs> this is Nick, everyone. He's the guy that films everything, and he's been editing the whole series. So, it's big up, good, Nick. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of good fun. A lot of yeah. outtakes as well. A lot of outtakes. Do that again, sorry, Nick. Let me do that again, Nick. I'm gonna say that again, Nick. I'm gonna do that again. But Nick is uh, ripping my van apart. Try to be careful with it, Nick. You're breaking it. You're breaking it, Nick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I learned how to break it. I learned from the best, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Nick. Yeah, you broke this one. Anyway, thanks, Nick. You're saving me some time. So Martin's trying to explain that I made a boo-boo. But so you sent a message saying, here's the stuff you need. I rung up, I said medium. Yeah. Because Martin mean, said medium. But we ended up getting normal. Normal. Which means which slow. Slow. So last night we were painting the panels and uh, with the lacquer, yeah. you have to wait between coats about 20 minutes-ish for it to go tucky. It wouldn't go tucky, and it I couldn't work out why. He was getting super annoyed, he was getting super cross well, because it was why was seven? Anyway, aka Pat, car commander Pat, he's, uh, he's given us this. Out. Five minute, not like 40. Five, five minute, minute, five minute, five minute. What do they call this? I actually don't know. I do know, I do know what to do. So basically you, you run a, a black over guide it, coat. a guide coat, and then when you wet it, like wet sand it, if you still see black in the paint, the bits you've sanded, that means that's, there's a low spot in that. Basically take away all the black and that'll give you a nice smooth surface. We are using some GMBN socks. Thanks to Nick. Thanks, Nick. They smell great. <gasps> Look what's arrived. Go get that. Go get. Go get it right there. That's my tires.
I feel very blessed, dude. So lucky, man. All these people helping me out. To be honest, the van needs to be out of the garage and we are nearly finished, but it's a big ask for just Martin and I sanding on all these panels. The budget is nearly done, but we are actually nearly done. I want to be sat in it, enjoying it. Not in a traffic jam, but it doesn't matter. If we're in a humongous one stuck for ages, I'll just get in the back and make a cup of tea. Cut a tea, Nick, cut a tea. So there we have it, end of episode eight. This is the final episode of building. It doesn't look like we're finished, but we are pretty much nearly there. As you can see, the Paint's colors go for like five minutes. blur the colors because we want it to be a reveal, a reveal. Yeah. Orange, yellow, pink, black. Pink, everyone's saying pink. Right. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this episode. If you've missed out on previous episodes, there's a playlist linked in the description down below. Go over there and binge watch it because it's pretty fun. It's been an absolute journey. It's been a year, over a year. I don't even know what to say. I, I, I'm grumbling. It's been it's emotional. Been, it's been very emotional. It's been emotional. It has been very emotional. Yeah, it's been emotional. It's, it's been good. But Thank we you are very still much. friends, just. <laughs> cup, of, cup of tea. Cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, cup, cup of tea. tea. See ya. Bye. Oh, 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 oh. Don't forget to come back because we're going to do a grand reveal and there'll be a full walk around of the van. Questions and answers from Mr. Martin Jones and myself. Bare Metal Builds, go follow them on Instagram. There do we go. It, go, on. go, do it! I dare ya. I dare you too. We... <laughs> Done. Weapon machine. Brilliant though. Uh.